Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your Java settings if you are getting an application that cannot be run error. And the reason is that your security settings have blocked a self-signed application from running. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an exclusion within Java on your computer to remove this from happening again in the future for whatever site you're working on. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to open it up. And now we're going to type in control panel. It should be listed as a desktop app and you want to proceed to left click on it. Left click on the button that says programs. If you do not see your display looking like this you want to view by the category view. You can see there's a couple other options, so if it says large icons, you can move it to category, or you could actually look for the programs button through the large icon or small icon views as well. But since I'm under the category view, we're going to just go underneath programs. And then we see that there is one program that says Java here. You want to double click on that. You want to left click on the security tab at the top and then left click on edit site list down here. And then you want to click on add right here. So at this point you would enter the website you're having the issues with, the full HTTPS domain name. You want to put the whole thing in right here and then you would just click on add and OK. I really want to mess with any of these other settings here. Once you do that, you should have an option if you're going through a website to accept the risk and run the application. You should no longer be completely denied access to it. So just keep that in mind. It should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. I forgot to mention you also should check to make sure that Java is up to date. So if you go online, you can actually find out what the current version of Java is and then going through the control panel application on our local computer that I showed you guys, you can view what version of Java you're running. So it's a pretty straightforward tutorial. I hope I helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.